All right, Peter, tell me what we got going on. I'm giving all credit to Adam here. He just ran to grab the camera. He set up the squid jigs, dropped it down, close to the bottom, I think, right? Mm -hmm. Very close to the bottom. Very close. And um, he's tight. I'm just reeling up. I had a squid come and lay up on here me first drop. Right here, watch out. <laughs> we don't want it on the. Don't, we don't want any ink on the camera. Oh my! Watch Are you? Out. Kidding me? Monster. Monster. Oh my God. Monster. Are you kidding? Look at you got him by the long tenny. Can I touch it? Yeah, don't he'll reach around and grab you though. No. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is don't aim him at me though, dude. Wait, is he gonna aim? Yes, don't aim him That's at me. That's the sickest thing I've ever seen. Look at Go this. Go stick thing. him in the well. Go stick Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Oh, oh my god. Get him in the well. Get him in the well. What, what this one? Yeah, that's open it. That's the nicest squid of my life. That's a tuna candy. Oh, okay. Look, 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 look. No. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, he did. He did. Look. Sometimes you can guide it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sometimes they'll uh, ink right on the surface. Can I lay back up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He laid up on me right off bottom. All right, I'm going to put the head mount on. Look, let's show the rig. Show the rig and show them what you're doing right now. Okay. We, it's pretty much a chicken rig. So we got three. One squid jig, two squid jigs. Here's what they look like. It's kind of hard to see. With, we get such a bright light. I'll stand behind it. Yeah. Just like that, and it's like barbless little hooks, little spikes on them. Yeah. We got three of them. And then Peter's glow stick, and then an eight ounce lead at the bottom. And we're dropping down. We're in. Holy, dude, look at all the, look at all the herring up high. We're showing them. Look at this, Mark. Tuna S marks above it everywhere. No way. Come here, look at this. E everywhere. Are these not tuna ask? Well, those aren't tuna ask. They are? No, they're not. Oh. What does the tuna look like? Big red, dark red mark. He was right. Alright, I don't know. I'm dropping I'm dropping the squid rig back down. Pretty much here's all I was doing too. I'm dropping it down the bottom, still got a little bit of light left. And I'm slowly just jigging it up, just like this. We're squid jigging. We're waiting for the tuna bite and we are squid jigging. We are doing a catch, clean, cook squid tonight with calamari. Brought the flour out here. Did you get the marinara? No. That was all his fault. No, are you kidding me? If they only knew how much stuff I actually had to do today. Yeah, he, he had to do a lot today preparing for opening night tuna fishing. But, I mean, it doesn't matter. We're still going to eat the fried squid calamari without the marinara. It is what it is. I can't believe we did either. I can't believe you're not laying up on a squid right now. <laughs> the world was going on. In the Nantucket. Oh, he's still there. Did you just pull him off? No. He's chasing it around. Shut up. Long kidding around. You can feel him chasing it? Yeah, like they'll like come a, over and they'll like... You ha see how you got him on that long tentacle? Like a pompano. Yeah. <laughs> like a pomp... Like, like I'm not... Like he's coming darting around. around yeah, yeah, dart around my jig. Yeah. When they're tapping and exactly. tapping and darting around. Oh. oh my god, get him. Come on. What is going on, dude? Alright, so some of Peter's buddies just rolled up, tied up next to us for the night. We're gonna have some dinner, but they said they dealt squid earlier. We gotta go. Hey, we'll check it out. Are you kidding me, Peter? Have you guys even caught one? Look how I caught one. I've been jigging my heart out. Dude. Tell me what the verdict is. He's fucking like. slamming them. Good night. Dude, I need a few. Ooh. That is crazy. He is pissed off. It's so sick. Are they eating you right under the boat or deep? Like 100 feet. All right, we gotta catch some squid. They're being weird, but usually they just latch on and pull it off. Oh. Saw that. You got him? Yeah, I just had to touch the rod to show all you jabroni. We're just gonna go check the thing down. You got, but you got a freaking thing. You can see how deep you are. Are you kidding me? That's a petite one. That's petite. That would like it. Frankie's got another squid. I cannot take it. That was your one. Oh. But at the bottom of the 
That's a petite, dude. Alright, Frankie just pulled out one of the boat. I don't know what happened. My card stopped working as soon as it came in the boat. My SD card malfunctioned or something, but drop it down. Catch me a squid. <laughs> just super slow jig. Super slow, and then it's all about keeping pressure once you get it. We'll catch back with you and catch another. Oh, come on. Oh, get him. It's all about keeping the Frank? pressure. Get him. Are you kidding? Ki I'm freaking garbage at no, catching squid. Frank, Frank just took garbage. Class. Frank the tank. I'm into squid class, guys. Malus, garbage at squid fishing. Known fact. Done. Okay. All right. Who's got a squid on and who doesn't, Peter? These boys and you don't. I caught, I caught one. Just, squid foolery? Yeah. Calm foolery with a squid here? Yeah. We're eating Kalimar tonight. I don't know. Tell me he's on there. No. No. Oh. Oh, did, did you see the other? Look at them all. Look at them all. Drop, 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 there was like, did you you saw him, Peter, right? Yeah. Oh, dude, they're down there thick right now. Hey. You already tight? Yeah. Went slow. All right, squid fishing isn't the most exciting thing in the world, but they're great tuna baits and they're sick. I mean, we don't catch squid back in Florida, I'll tell you that. All right, I'm putting, I'm about to lay up. I can't take it. Boys say they're dealing squid. That's a good one. They too small? No, put him in the water. Right, oh, oh, oh my god. Are Watch you up. kidding me? Hold that thing up for the camera, dude. Yeah. Oh, Tom, I am so sorry. Shake it off. Oh, he got me. Karma. Karma. He just got inked in the face. This is like, dude, I just got inked in the face. Dude, I just got. I have no idea what just happened, but. Why'd you just let him go? Dude, he just got me on the side of my head. I got that video. I got the video of it freaking squirting all over Tom. All right, I don't know what's going on. Tight again? Is it another giant? Oh, oh my! Oh my God! Watch out! Two at a time. Two at a time. Oh my God! A twofer. Are you? Hold him up. Actually, I don't know what happened last time. You did that. Dog. This is bad. Oh, that one just inked everywhere. No. I'm drop. I'm dropping down. Oh, All right, watch out. Oh, you got another double. Hey, Pete. No way. Hey, you got a two piece. No way, dude. Oh, see ya, buddy. Oh, my. Bro, these things squirt so bad. You're dealing them. I I'm shook. I'm just shook. Oh, that's a jumbo. Dude, I can't catch a bait. Oh, oh, I'm getting bit. I'm getting bit. Oh, there it was. Yeah. I'm tight. Oh my god, I'm tight, yeah. He came back to the scraps, dude. You see me lift it up and I'm lay into it? Let me get a double, come on. Oh, are you laid up? I'm laid up, dude. It's the sickest. It's a nice one. Nice one, I got a double. Can you take back that? That's what you Nice one, I got a double. Don't book Peter for the squid chargers again. Nice one, bro. Don't even hold him towards me. Oh my god, that's so sick. <laughs> that's that's what he always says to me show the cam. No, what? They just start chewing out of nowhere. You just drop down there. Yeah, I just randomly dropped. Dude, I wish we could turn the boat and the generator off so I could, we could hear anything. Oh my god, that's a good one, bro. Actually, it looks kind of little. Maybe a double? Buddy said, look at all these fire drinks.
Get him, baby. Jay's on, homeboy. Was that deep or no? Uh, not very deep. Get him. Little guy. Oh boy, watch out for me. Oh, Jumbo. Oh, no, my GoPro. No, it didn't get it. Is my hat? Oh no, the GoPro too. No! These things suck. No, dude. No! No, he inked on my hat too. Alright, I'm gonna put this underwater, show you guys the squid in their natural hold habitat. On. Hold up, hold up. three bro yeah you did you got three pick those things up right now you're a legend Ooh. holy Ooh. watch out brother oh oh no we lost the third one right there oh you're tight oh wait no you're not oh look at these things okay so they're eating these jigs and what they're doing is you can see he literally just latched on to the jig, just like that, with his tentacle. Look, these things are crazy. Everybody here says, oh, they're the best tuna bait. So, I guess we'll see, they're so cool looking. I never thought I'd be catching squid, dude. Toast stick. We're eating some tonight. Oh, my. Holy smokes, you're gonna squirt all over me, dude. All over me. Hold him away, hold him away. No, 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 no. Oh, you. <laughs> hold him away. Dude, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Alright, real quick, you guys. Peter just shut off the generator for a second so it could be a little bit more quiet because I know it's been so loud. So, like I said earlier, I'm sorry about that noise. I'm sorry about the lighting. Everything's kind of crazy. All right, you guys, we just had these squid in this bucket of ice here, here for about 30 minutes. Literally, doesn't smell like anything. That's crazy, as fresh as it gets right there. And I've never cleaned one before, so I don't want to hear it in the comments. We're gonna try it out. I'm just gonna fillet his guts. I had to watch a YouTube video. Peter had to watch a YouTube video. He's giving me advice. It's so slippery. Oh no. There it is. Do we eat, oh you can eat the head, right? Yeah, but I can put like, the eyes from the eyes back down. Uh, get the beak out of there. Alright, so you can definitely eat the head. Oh, throw this shit. junk out because that's the guts and stuff. I'm almost just gonna on, it. on the rod? No, in the box. They would have been eating it. And you I guess you just pull all the their ink cartridges out? <laughs> then you can open it right up and then it won't be like those calamari rings. Like, I don't know. I'm getting something out of here. I need to rinse it out. Yeah. I think you got a cleaned out squid here. Now I'm going to... This is how you kill a squid. Get him. Oh my god, there it was. Karate chopped squid. Bye bye. All right, this is my third squid I'm about to clean. Peter's gonna hold the camera. I got a little bit better at it, so let's see. Here's what we're gonna do. Instead of trying to peel it with our hands, we just take the knife and you're just going up it, the backside of the knife. You see all the skin's coming off. Look, this is the good stuff that you want. And it's crazy too, because you go to a bait and tackle shop in Jupiter or literally anywhere and get a box of squid. The second you open it, it stinks. These smell like nothing, it's crazy. I mean, I, I mean, we just caught them, obviously, but like, still crazy. They look the same as when they're frozen, like, 
They don't look like they get raggedy and stuff. Yeah, I've never even really thought of that before. They always look the same, you know what I mean? You know, they like smell so bad. So bad. Alright, so I'm skinning it all like that. And then getting everything. And then I'm gonna cut right here. Right above his head. And I'm also gonna cut. Get his beak out right there. Perfect. Should we eat the eyes? No. Absolutely not. <laughs> said absolutely not. Alright. Cut so right smart. above the eyes. Beautiful. Oh, he's got his beak yeah, still. I was gonna say get the beak out of there. I think it might push right there. Go. I got it out. Here. Right? Still so part of it. There we go. Got the beak, so we got that's our little piece of calamari that everybody loves. Alright, and now I'm gonna cut his wings off and we're gonna save this for Haddock bait later. You guys are gonna see a whole nother video on. So, okay. Now this is the important part. Stick my knife in the middle, and I'm kind of just going around his guts, just like this. And it's kind. This is kind of easier with a duller knife. Otherwise, you're gonna cut through the. And this this knife hasn't been sharpened in a while. So, okay. Now, so it's all loose and stuff. I'm just gonna turn it inside out. Now I'm gonna do it from this way. The squid inside out. I'm just, just so harks are so slimy, but just like that. And now we got all the guts and all the raggedy stuff on the inside here. And they they got like a big line. It almost feels like plastic. Right here. I'm just gonna pull it just like this. That's a plastic line. And then all the guts should just peel right off. Then you rinse it in salt water like this. There's ink in here. It doesn't really matter. So I'm gonna rinse it off. In the ocean in a second, but just kind of back and forth with your hands, like against the ice. Get a little aggressive with it. And we're gonna clean it up a little bit more, but just like that. And then we're gonna dice it up, fry it up, baby. All right, this is gonna sound crazy. We got the generator running right here. That's the only way the oil can heat up. It's not hot enough yet, but what I am gonna do, get my squid ready to be eaten. Clean this knife off here. All I'm doing is cutting these into little calamari pieces, what, like that? Yeah. Perfect. Little rings just like that. I'd go thinner. Really? Thicker the chewier. Damn, if we had the marinara, bro. Alright, perfect. Cut the other one. Out. Little pieces just like that. I gotta dry it off so it'll stick to the flour here. Pat it down nice. All right, we're throwing all the calamari in here. Just like this. Throwing in our flour. What is it? Because it's your dad's mixture. If you don't. Um, clam fry mix something and uh, another one. Been using it for 31 years. Mixes wow. them together. I can't remember what it is. Obviously got to be good. Doesn't matter. All right, now I'm going to do shake it up. It's going to be hard to find these. It's going to be really hard to find these. Oh no. Oh no, this is a bad idea. I'm gonna be in here for a long time. Pick, a, pick, a... Picking out calamari, I'll see you guys later. Alrighty, we got these out of the flour. They're looking beautiful. Oil is hot. Let's fry, baby. Head's going in first. Oh, look at this. Here's where I have to grab it out with a rigging needle. This is honest work with the boys out of the finest out here in the cut. That, bro. No. There we go. Oh, look at that one, bro. Oh, oh. Relax, bro. All right, I'm gonna do the rest in a little bit. I don't think I can do too many at a time. Oh, we should have salted them up. Actually, they're salty. And one salt. <laughs> I don't know, but look at this little one. They smell so good. If you guys are enjoying this video, first of all, this is very Nant. This is the most Nantucket thing I've ever done in my entire 
If you guys are enjoying this video, go ahead right now down below. Drop a like on it and subscribe if you're not ready. It's free. Listen, I'm just going to say it now. If you guys have an epic fishery that you want to share, you want me to come try out, comment down in the YouTube video below or follow me on Instagram, adam.malusi, and shoot me a DM or even email us at movingweightinc at gmail.com. Let's set something up. I want to go travel this year and film videos. Me and Peter have been messaging on Instagram for like four or five months. Didn't talk for a while, then he messaged me. He's like, yo, shoot up here. Opening day on the 31st, the night of the 31st. And I sent it. Here we are in Nantucket. About to eat squid, so life's weird. All right, they're ready, bro. Come here. Tom Foolery, baby. Rigging needle squid. Calamari, I mean. Are you kidding me right now? We had a little bit of seasoning or like lemon or something? You could have gotten all that, but you forgot it all. You went to the grocery store. Doug, I t listen, when I'm in the grocery store, I get scared. I didn't know what's going on. Looking around, Peter's looking at me. Very suspect. You got very scared. Fire. Pretty good. <laughs> what in the world? A little chewy? It's a little bit, but it's good. It's really good. It's good, dude. It doesn't really taste like much, to be honest. No. Right? I think if you like season it up nice with lemon, a little bit of, I don't know, a little bit of stuff. Like, I don't know. Salt, pepper? Maybe? Yeah, maybe something. I don't know. I think I cook them too much. I don't know. They're good. It just tastes like calamari. <laughs> Come on. What are you I'm scared. Put it in your mouth and bite. Peter wouldn't do this if I paid him a thousand dollars. No, I'd do it. I'd do it for Eat a the head? For a thousand. You want me to try a little piece? Mm hmm. He's not gonna like it. You're not gonna like it. No. It's not like amazing. It's bland, right? It tastes like a french fry that rolled around in chum juice. Alright. I tried. That's all I'm going to say. I tried to make the video for you guys. No, I, I thought it was good. That was a crazy squid bite. I'm not the Do you do squid Calum. charters? <laughs> if you come on a tuna charter, you'll be catching them at night. Okay, you heard that. All right, boys and girls, that was a crazy squid bite. Absolutely insane. Never seen anything like that in my life. We finally shut the generator off. I can talk. I don't have to scream. You can hear me. If you guys would like to book a charter with Peter, want to come to New Hampshire, get on this epic fishery they have down here, up here, sorry, harvesterfishingcharters.com. You can't see them because of light, but it's right there. Book a charter. You can come overnight. You do overnight trips for bluefin. Overnight trips for bluefin tuna. Take home a giant bluefin tuna to eat, and then you catch squid and all the bait in the world. Absolutely crazy. Like I said, drop a like on the video, subscribe, it's free. It really helps push the video. Share this video with one of your friends if you guys have never seen Young Maloose catch squid. Just share it with the boys. Be like, yo, Young Maloose caught some squid. You know me. This is all for Dan Lonely, by the way. Dan, I know you're watching this and your heart's broken because you want to come here and lay up on squid. But um, thank you guys so much for sticking around till the end of the video, pretty much. That's all we got for you guys. Like I said, tomorrow is going to be... Good. Should be good fishing. Hopefully. We... Yeah, yeah. Hopefully it will be crazy. We're hoping for a fish, so we'll see. Thank you so much. Till next time, moving weights out.